All right then, so now we pass this order prop right here into this component so that we can use it to reorder the different jobs that we output to the template. Now to do this, we'll be using a computed value so as not to directly mutate the jobs prop itself, which we shouldn't be doing. So to use a computed value, we first need the setup function. So let's create that setup like so. And then we want a computed value. Now I'm gonna give this a name and I'm gonna call it ordered jobs like so. And we set that equal to computed. I'm going to click on this to auto import it right here from view. So this computed function takes in a function as an argument, which ultimately will return the ordered jobs. Now this computed method will watch any prop or reactive value that is used inside this function. So it can rerun any time that changes. So if the jobs prop changes at any point or the order prop changes at any point, then it's gonna rerun this computed value for us. So we always have the up-to-date ordered jobs list. So anyway, inside this computed function, now we want to return a value, which is the reordered array of jobs, depending on that order prop value. So to do this, we'll be using the sort method on the array of jobs that we have right here. So first of all, let me return something. And then what I want to do is access the jobs. Now, in order to access the jobs, I have to take in the props right here into the setup function. So then I could say props.jobs and then use the sort method on it. Now, oops, we need to spell that correctly. Sort like so. Now this method right here is destructive, meaning it would edit the jobs prop directly. And we're not meant to do that. We shouldn't be mutating the props. So instead what we're gonna do is surround this thing inside a new array and spread out all the current elements inside the jobs array into a new temporary array that we have right here. And then we're gonna sort that so we're not directly editing this prop, all right? Now, I don't want to go into too much detail about how the sort method works in JavaScript or TypeScript, but in a nutshell, it's this. It's gonna fire a function, so we'll take that in as an argument, for each consecutive pair of elements inside the array, which we're gonna call A and B, inside the function. So if we return inside the function minus one for this pair, then the order of that pair will remain the same. If we return plus one, then it switches the order. So it does this for every item or pair of items in the array until it's fully sorted according to our criteria. So first of all, I need to type these. A is gonna be of type job and B is gonna be of type job because they are the elements inside the array. They are all job objects. Now inside this function, we need to return a value, remember, either minus one or plus one. So what I'm gonna do is say, take the first element, A, and then I want a particular property on the job. Now that property is gonna be dictated by whatever the order is. Now that could be salary, location, or title. So all I need to do is pass in that property right here, that name. So that's from the props dot order so this is the same as saying for example a dot location if order was location if order was title then it would be the same as saying a dot title but because it's dynamic we place it in these square brackets to access it so we return that and we do an evaluation to see if that is bigger than b props dot order so we're comparing the order property of A, the first job, to the order property of B. Now, if A is bigger than B, we want to return plus one. So we're gonna use the ternary here, so question mark, and we want plus one, and then colon minus one if that is false. So if this is true, we return one, and these switch places. If it's false, then it's gonna return minus one, and they don't switch places, okay? All right then. So now we have this computed value, we can return it down here. So return, and it's gonna be ordered jobs like so. All right then, so now we can use this in the template. So instead of cycling through jobs, we're gonna cycle through ordered jobs like so. And if we save it and come back over here to test it, now if we order by title, 
it's going to be this one first because it's first in the alphabet and the last in the alphabet is this one. If we order by salary, it's the smallest first. If we scroll down here, it's the largest. And if we order by location, then it orders by the location, A to Z as well. All right, so this now is all working. So hopefully now you can see how we can use these types inside our computed values as well.